brought back the wetlands of this area. They, they got a grant to bring back this entire wetland. This used to be a parking lot. It used to be a, I, I want to say a shopping mall kind of deal. And then over the years, the parking lot started to break up and then the city or I don't know who had this great idea. Well, let's bring it back. Uh, our school is part of um, taking care of it, cleaning out the lake, testing the water quality, planting the seeds, anything that had to do with wetlands and bringing them back. And we also worked over at um, Phelan Lake. They decided, well, wouldn't it be wonderful if we had a um, piece of art in the, in the, in the um, lake, in the area? So they asked me, because I was the art teacher at Cleveland Middle School at that time, if I would get a team of kids together to come up with a concept, um, to come up with a sculpture. And our idea was to um, brainstorm uh, um, animals and birds that were native to the area. We came up with the great blue heron. Uh, the sculpture stood here for, uh, for quite a few years and then it was um, taken uh, twice. So the second time the sculpture was taken, Randy, who was the um, teacher that was key in defining the um, money or the funds to do this project a second time, uh, she came up with this great idea, hey, Loon, let's um, rebuild the sculpture. Let's, uh, you know, it, it's not going to come back. Let's, let's do, let's, um, Let's just make it happen again. So it's been two, uh, three or four years in the making since 2016 when she came up with the idea. And today is the day that we finally get to see, uh, actually we get to see two great blue herons placed because now Phelan Village, Phelan Village wanted a great blue heron in their space. And then we'll put the other one back in the original spot. So not only did Randy come up with uh, funds to um, reproduce the grateful hair and she came up with funds to find um, so that we could build a steel um, I would I would say a little more abstract piece in, in that area again all all to help better approve the aesthetics and the engagement in the community so that's that's how it started in a long-winded kind of way So two summers ago, we worked with the Boys and Girls Club here on the east side and Johnson High School kids. And the, actually the Johnson High School, the, the Johnson High School um, student was the one that came up with the most current great blue heron. So the heron, uh, a student, um, Kua, worked, in, worked with me over a summer and we made that out of clay, non-drying clay. Once he finished the piece, or the, that clay piece, I had to chop it up and make a mold out of the uh, out of the pieces that I chopped up. And then we sent those molds to a bronze pouring facility. In a way, it's kind of like just um, I see it as in like giving back to the community in a way, but also just like um, getting experience on making sculptures. And I think at first it was just kind of like. Um, me alone, we're just talking about how we can make the sculpture different, how we can like, uh, like make it, I guess, um, in a way better, or just like make it my own style. So I just kind of like wanted to like have that kind of like st same style in a way, but make it like have like its wings like spread out, that kind of stuff. So it just kind of like I don't know. It just at that time it was it seems right. Yeah. Um, I would say I hope they see um, bravery. Like with that, with that um, blue heron being like just wide open and like really brave, that kind of stuff. So I feel like that's like the first intention. Like, wow, that thing looks really brave, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, definitely. Yeah. I think I feel like um, me. I just like doing like a lot of things. I like doing a lot of things. So definitely, I want to like I guess be uh, a community artist in the future. I want to do a lot of like uh, like painting. I want to do a lot of like um, more drawing or like just uh, statues overall. So um, yeah, definitely. I think. Um, it's probably like a way for me to, I guess, put myself more out there and, um, and um, potentially do more sculptures and stuff. So, yeah. um, it was really good actually to see how my sculpture was made to bronze and stuff, but uh, pretty much the whole process was just like putting clay on, I like covered the whole like, um, like um, stand that we made and stuff with it and then after that just goes in and like do all the feathers and stuff and that was a long process but it was a pretty enjoyable process.
Deja and Shua. Um, those two were the two girls that were in my um, character and leadership program. Um, they wanted to participate. They weren't necessarily an artsy person, uh, people I mean, um, but they wanted to, to be a part of something um, to give back. Um, you know, so they went to, they did the studies, they went down to, I think, I believe, a sculpted garden um, just to get an inspiration um, to see where their, their interests may be. I don't know, um, the career in, uh, in cult, uh, sculpturing. Um, they came back and started sketching and, and it went from there. She took it upon herself because at the time she was the president of the Keystone Club. Um, she says, you know, we made the, a commitment to, to participate in it and I'm going to go forward with it. And, and besides, it's something that will be put on a display for people to see. Um, she wanted, um, you know, her name to stay, be stamped on it and, and to let people know that, you know, young people do care about their neighborhoods and, and their parks and whatnot. So. I, you know, I think the more they are involved, I think they have a vested portion of, or interest in that, the more they would likely um, to, to, to love where they live, to, to um, be a part of their neighborhood, to, to, to really take care of our environment or their neighborhood, you know, the more they are involved, I think the more they care. Um, so, yeah, I think that that's the most important thing is that them caring about their neighborhood and the places that they live. It's all about community. It's such a great community building project. Um, I think it represents uh, the love and the desire that these kids and these, uh, these the folks have for this community in this area. You know, um, art in particular, I think it could it really builds a lot of community. It can connect us all. Um, when we look at art, we, we have to make our own interpretation. We ask questions about how it was built, who built it, and it gives us a better appreciation of just life and it ups the quality of life in the area. Um, I feel like the kids, the process of them, the, the, the process of them going through the building and the creation and the, and they actually went to go visit the fabricators and the, well, bronze pours. So the whole process, I think, um, was valuable to them. And then I think they bring it back to their family, they bring it back to the community, and they just kind of spread, I think they, they just spread the knowledge and the experience that they have. And I think that's a good thing for the community, especially here on the east side, where I think you really need a little more art and this is, I think this is one of the very few pieces that have art on this side. Um, yeah, I, definitely the community.